Yeah, this is the same day. Alright, another thing that happened to me today was, uh... There was a lot of... I don't even know what to call it. There was a guy today, a very old man, and I think he was... I don't know, he might have been a little racist. There was another guy that came in. It was a black guy. He was on his laptop for the whole time. He was there for at least two hours. As soon as the guy with the laptop left, we all wear headsets at my work, and all of a sudden, they start calling me, okay, they needed help, because I was in the back. I get out there, and it's this old man. And I remember serving him, too. Our yeah, co-workers were just standing there, not knowing what to do. That's what happens when you're shift, and you are given all the responsibilities, all the problems, that's all on you. I talked to this, I was like, oh, is there a problem, sir? And he goes, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but, uh, this, the, the black guy, and he specifically says, the black guy. Or he stole one of your, your merchandise, and one of your, um... You know, one of the products. Not nah, here we go again. He specifically told me, and he showed me. He wanted, I go up to him, because he's sitting down. He shows me what it, the guy actually does. He goes, well, he takes one of these things, and he stole one of these things. And he demonstrates how he stole it. So this is an old guy, and you know, he looks really old. But he takes the energy to actually stand up and to go ahead and show me how this guy steals stuff. I look at the products, and clearly look like, None of the stuff has been taken, okay? None of the stuff has been taken. He proceeds to tell me, I told you guys earlier and you guys didn't care. I was like, what? You never told me anything. I started asking all the co-workers, I was like, um, did he actually buy anything? Do you remember him buying those things that he supposedly stole? And everyone said no. So I was like, okay, cool. I don't know if he wanted credit for it. But he goes, do you know him? Blah, blah, blah. Is he coming a lot? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, we'll we'll try our best to, you know, check. He says, yeah, I told you guys early. You know, if you know if I told you and you listened, you would be in jail now. Oh, my. It's like, okay, I'm sorry. Well, it just, it happens. My point is, is that I don't want to do reverse race, you know, racism. Just because he's a white old man, I'm going to assume that he's a racist guy against black people. I'm not going to say that, you know. It could have been any other person. Uh, could have been a white guy on a laptop. I just find it a little fishy that he would go take the trouble out of his day to actually tell us. But the reason why I had my uh, reservations, another situation like that happened, except it was a little more blunt. It was a little more in my face. What happened was that our store was held at gunpoint. The funny thing was that I took that day off. I wasn't there for it. The person that I was on duty was really shaken up by the whole thing. So a couple of days later, she was a little paranoid, cautious, let's just say cautious, about the whole situation. And so um, what happened was, oh, sh Ah, and I touched it again. A couple of days, and she's still a little shaken up. She wants to lock the doors, which means the customer would be at the door waiting, and she would come unlock it and let him in, relock it again. It was at night time, and uh, this regular, he's an older guy, he wanted to know why I was locking the doors so much. Why are you guys locking the doors now? Why? And I was like, our store, you know, was held at gunpoint, and, you know, we never found the guy. And this old man, he goes, what is it, a black guy? I don't know if it's the area, or if it's... It's the generation, and they still have that. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that story. I have a ton of more stories to tell you. Subscribe, like the video. Um, goodbye.